I'm not a lawyer, but I read the 15 page lawsuit. A woman in New York has filed against Jamie Foxx for SA. So let me recap the details for you. The suit was filed by an unknown woman. She's listed in the lawsuit as Jane Doe, and it's against Eric Marlon Bishop, AKA Jamie Foxx, Catch Restaurants, Catch Hospitality Group, and an unknown group of people listed as John and Jane Doe's one through 10. And then it includes Mark Birnbaum, who is the co-founder of Catch Hospitality Group. Catch Hospitality Group is the parent company that owns all of Catch Restaurants. Following. So the lawsuit alleges that on August 26, 2015, the plaintiff, again, Jane Doe, and a friend went to the Catch Rooftop Bar and Lounge in New York around 11 p.m. Once they were seated, they noticed Mark Birnbaum, the co-founder of Catch, at the table right next to theirs having a drink with Jamie Foxx. According to the lawsuit, a crowd started to form around Jamie and Mark's table, and then the group of John and Jane Doe's one through 10 began moving the crowd away from Jamie and Mark's table. Now this group of John and Jane Doe's one through 10 are alleged to be the staff of Mark Birnbaum, Catch Restaurant, and or staff of Jamie Foxx's. So the staff moves the crowd away, including people who were sitting at nearby tables. But according to the lawsuit, the plaintiff and her friend were never asked to move. So the night carries on and around 1 a.m. the plaintiff's friend walks over to Jamie Foxx and asks for a picture, to which Jamie allegedly responded, quote, sure baby, anything for you. So the pictures are taken with the plaintiff and her friend and according to the lawsuit, an intoxicated Jamie. And then Jamie says, wow, you have that supermodel body. You smell so good, you look like Nikki. The plaintiff asks, who's Nikki? And then Jamie, according to this lawsuit, says Gabrielle Union, and then proceeded to grab the plaintiff by her arm and pull her to the back area of the rooftop. The lawsuit alleges that once in the secluded area, Jamie put his hands under the plaintiff's top and felt her up. Plaintiff was caught off guard by what he was doing and attempted to step away and even noticed a security guard of Jamie's noticing what happened, but apparently that security guard walked away. The lawsuit goes on to say that then Jamie slid his hands in the plaintiff's, you could read what this is. At this point, the plaintiff's friend walks over to where they are and Jamie allegedly walked away to his security guard. So based on this incident, there are three causes of action in this lawsuit. The first is against Jamie Foxx for SA and battery. The second is against Catch Restaurant, Catch Hospitality Group, and Mark Birnbaum for negligent hiring, training, and supervision because the plaintiff says the restaurant knew of Jamie's propensity for aggressive behavior toward females, the potential for unwanted sexual touching, and his bad disposition when consuming excessive alcohol. The lawsuit says that the restaurant staff was not properly trained on how to observe, report, and prevent situations like this from happening, particularly that when a person has consumed an excessive amount of alcohol, they should no longer be served. Okay, and then the last cause of action is against all of the defendants, and it's for violating the Victims of Gender Motivated Violence Act, which is a New York law that was created to allow survivors of gender motivated violence to civilly sue their perpetrators. And because you're probably asking, Courts in New York recognize forcible and unconsented acts of SA and abuse as by definition acts of violence motivated by the gender of a victim. So both men and women can sue under this law. A spokesperson for Jamie Foxx told Page Six that, quote, the alleged incident never happened. In 2020, this individual filed a nearly identical lawsuit in Brooklyn. That case was dismissed shortly thereafter. The claims are no more viable today than they were then. We are confident that they will be dismissed again. Jamie Foxx's rep goes on to say that Mr. Fox intends to pursue a claim for malicious prosecution against this person and her attorneys for refiling this frivolous action. 